Are there any comments? Yeah, I was here and I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't here. Yeah. Hi. Two places at once, you're very right. good. Yeah, You sure? August 15th. I didn't know we had a meeting that night. I have no idea. I don't, I don't think I was here. Mm -hmm. I, was I don't remember a meeting on August 15th. I thought this was July 15th. It was two meetings in July. Yeah, I see. I believe it was. Yeah, it was good. I no, believe July 15th was a okay. Saturday. Was it? It was two meetings yeah. in July. It wasn't August 13th. 15th. August 15th? The, no, no, it was not. Check and see if there's an August 15th, if the date is correct. I'll tell you when it was. We had a finance committee meeting July 10th yeah. at 6.30. Yeah, that's what I get. We, but we did have a meeting, I think, on August. No, we had a September it was, meeting. August it was canceled. tentatively set up, but we, it was canceled because we didn't need to do it. That was going to be a, a request September. for transfer, possible transfer of funds. September 12th. September 12th, we had a meeting. Right. We met September 12th. So you're saying we didn't meet on August 15th? Right. No. We did not meet on July 10th. July 10th or and then September yes. 12th. Let's put these let's put these aside then and we'll figure out what the date was later. Do we have a minutes for the 10th? No. Can you have back? I know the rest of them. We have the back. You would like the 15th back then? Yeah, the 15th back. We'll we're just change the date. Where are you at now? Nothing. No, I wasn't. Chris? The chairman no. would like the 15th minutes back. What's that? The chairman would like the minutes of the 15th back. When we have again. Nothing, nothing really matters, but I figured if I got them out of no, the way, right. then they might. Right. Right. And then you can't go out. I agree with yeah. you. Okay. Then we'll Whatever try. That's, How about the 12th of worth. September? That yeah. sounds good. That's good. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, John. Grab the Trevor. So we have the minutes from September 12th. <coughs> Any questions? I don't have, I've got the wrong. Why? I don't know. Thank you, sir. You get, you both have the 12th? No, I've got the 12th. Yeah, he's got the 12th. I you got have 12. the 12th. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You want another one down there? No. Wendy? <coughs> if there are no, uh, I'm still looking at it, see if we have any other. Oh, um, just let Jeff get nominated that night. You, you, were, you were here? Yeah, you were here. But we nominated somebody who wasn't here. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I got yeah. him here. John. Okay. Yeah. Just let you know. That was yeah. that, that's accurate. Exactly. You were not here and we nominated you. <laughs> yeah, but up above it. Oh, I'm sorry. Take that back. You don't mind. That's okay. what he gets for not being here. Right? Yeah. It's all right. It's okay. I went to a conference and it was better. Good. How could it possibly be? Yeah, it was Come in on. Louisville, Kentucky. All right. If there are no, there are no questions, no comments, do you have a motion? I'll make it. Motion to accept the September 12, 2017 minutes. Okay. As, uh, As presented. presented. Any second? Second. Second. It's moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. One abstention. One abstention. Six in favor, 
Zero to oppose, one abstention. May 24th. What year was that? Uh, a couple of years ago. 2016. Would you put six, six zero? Six zero one. Six zero one. There was only five people here. No. Oh, it was. It was John and uh, Mary Trip. and John were missing. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Five. Mary, did you vote? Sorry, it was me. I don't, there's not necessarily a problem. You can vote it. if you want. That's right. You watch it on TV. Yeah. You so, can vote? Yeah. Yeah, you can watch it on TV. Okay. okay. So what do you want to do? What's the vote on? Do you can? Can read the minutes? You can't? Oh, to vote on the minutes? Yeah. Yes. She can't vote on the minutes. I'm not going to vote on the minutes. Okay, it's five, five zero, zero two. two. Got it. You have the minutes uh, from May 24, 2017. Yep. Questions, comments? So old I don't remember. Almost as old as you are. I don't think there's anything voted. Is there what's voted? Uh, there was discussion. Nothing was voted. We no. talked about the, the, the uh, budget process in detail. So if nothing was voted, then... Uh, no. Did we do reserve fund transfer? We did a reserve fund transfer, too. We did two yeah. of them, right? We did two votes. Okay. So yeah, that, that was good. They were voted. Okay. If there are no questions or comments... Uh, Make a motion to approve as printed. I second it. It's been moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Any abstentions? I believe it's here. Okay. Uh, so, what we pass this out? Uh, this must have been from July 10th. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it. Because <laughs> I, I haven't marked it in my book as August 15th. I don't know why. I do remember having something where we, scheduled that. Where we met on a Tuesday and I had I looked at the next th Thursday as, as right. an override. Right. So that. Yep. that right, it's just a tentative. Yeah. And, right. 10 14, if we didn't 10 need 15. it, we're just going to let it. Cancel. Yeah, we did. We did right. You got any more? Uh, let's check and see if there is one there. Do you have another? No, but I got one that I got from, from my box that I Here you go. I'm going to have a box. You got more? Yeah, we got another. Budget submission for 2019. Uh, oh. <laughs> Take a look, read it through, and uh, Except for the transmittal. It's got revised. Yeah, very little. Updated. Kind of finalized. Okay. You know, we've discussed it, I think, three or four times. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. when, I when I talked with Wendy this morning, she said the proposal was to send this out on the 10th. I think the 10th is a holiday or celebrating Brenda. on the 10th. Brenda. Brenda. Because she's not going to be here. Right. That's, that's what right. you spoke about. That's right. right. Yeah. I did talk with you, but that's right. It was Brenda. We're all in sync here. Brenda. And uh, Brenda said that she was actually probably going to mail them out or send them out on the uh, 8th or 9th. So. so I had a department heads meeting, and I alerted everybody, and I passed out the schedule. So had it last year, which isn't saying much, but we are. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> okay. Any questions? Everybody satisfied with that uh, date? Um, we had a comment um, relative to the request for budgets. We didn't want this to go out prior to personnel committee having finalized the... Personnel met last night. Last night. I, it's oh, all good. Mary could okay. do that. <laughs> it's not finalized, but they get... Well, one part of it yeah. is finalized. Yeah. Um, we took a vote to put the cost of living against the compensation schedule. Um, to, to keep it up to date, like that we didn't do 
last time. So we're going to add, we're recommending that you add the 2% to the schedule. Um, we're also working on reviews and how they will be done. Um, we've gone online and uh, gotten different ways of doing reviews. We talked it over with um, Wendy last night, and um, we feel a verbal one, you know, start is fine, but we need it on paper to put it in their files. Um, and we're not sure about whether we're going to go a step or whether we're going to have to go by approval of the selectmen as to who goes up the step because the reviews that we do are going to be passed to Wendy. And Wendy is going to do the reviews. This is tentative um, for the department heads mm -hmm. because she, she's with them all the time. She knows what's happening and what's not. So that's our recommendation right now. It's just the 2% against the compensation schedule. So no automatic step. No automatic step at this time. At this time. Yeah. Or to be determined. Yeah, to be determined. There's no five percent increase in a step. It's the same plan as last year. Five percent increase last year. Same plan as last year. It was a two percent increase. We're for adding two percent more for cost well, of living. we're adding two percent because that's what the cost of living was. And that's why it's a 2%. No, I understand. But we had a, a, a one year plan last year. Now it's the same. It's the same, adopt, it's same plan. Same, uh, compensation plan because we went through a lot of detail to yep. get the starting um, rates. But in order to keep that schedule up to date, we need to add cost of living when there is one. If it was zero, we wouldn't add anything to it. So that schedule, you just do that right across the board, the entire schedule. Yes. Every step we go up two and a half percent, whether About nobody's on it or two percent, or I meant two percent, whether nobody's on it or not. Right. Okay. Yeah. But the five percent doesn't happen. Well, no. unless, unless they get unless a step. Unless they get a step. So it's, it's supposed to be by merit. So. So if they get a step, it could be seven and a half percent. Then? Right. No. Seven. Could be. Seven. Seven percent. Right. Yeah. Wow. So I was thinking that the COLA would just be based on the year and not be added to the schedule. Well, that's what happened with the old schedule. We never added cost of living to the schedule. Right, that's so why we got into the list that we were, we're in. We're hiring people at but if step we were, five and step six. But if, okay. All right. This is the reason why we feel very strongly that the 2% needs to be added to the schedule. Whether they get an automatic step is a different okay. story. All right. yeah. I think it's going to be very critical, whatever evaluation tool you decide to use, that there's a criteria that goes across the board yes. uh, for, for all so departments. And, and I think it needs to be strictly adhered to as far as that criteria, as far as the evaluation. Uh, with a small town and sometimes small crews, Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to not give somebody a step increase, right. and but and you know to you're going to have them. to right to evaluate them. Jeff, this was very much part of the conversation right. last yeah. night. Yeah, the challenge of doing evaluations, how you do it, what format you use, mm -hmm. um, whether you link it to uh, step merit increase, whatever you want right. to call it. Because, you know, there's a there's a job description, and, and if, you if you're if you're doing your job right. description, well, this, is, this is personnel board stuff. Yeah, we're talking right. about all of that. So. Okay, yeah. you'd be good on a personnel board next year. Yeah, right. You're right, though. I, where I, you, where I, are you I going with that? Right. If you're doing your job. If you're doing you your job, you automatically get a step raise. No, you no. shouldn't. You did when you were teaching, right? No, you didn't. It depends on who did your evaluation. He where, did. Where did you? Yeah, you did, did you maybe. <laughs> well, most people will get the step increase. Right. right. Most My concern will is get that I don't want to make sure it's not five percent plus two percent, so they're getting seven percent, which is worse than the five percent last year. But they didn't get five percent. Yes, year. they did. Yes, they and did. Sometimes more. That's well, right. Sometimes more, but there were there were a couple who got less than five yeah, percent couple, because of the couple. way they. Yeah. Well. Well, this is why it's taking so long to get. Find out what right, we want yeah. to do for evaluation yeah. because, yeah, like you said, it is a small town, and it's small difficult. Right, it's right. Difficult. I brought the message to the department heads meeting, and I reiterated it last night. The message I'm hearing right now 
which is that there is, um, you know, both in your board and, our, and, and the select board, a little, you know, some resistance to the idea of um, what, you know, what you've just been talking about. So what they're, uh, people are, we're working with the input that you've given on this and you're, what you're also saying right now. So. Was there much reaction? Um, no one person, we, you know, there's, we're actually going to meet again and talk more about it mm -hmm. um, because there are other ways to, to make, uh, motivate whatever um, employees that are just, um, you know, salary increases or wage increases. So, um, and we want the I just want to update of, them. A motivation type right. tool. Right. Goal setting and right. achieving mm -hmm. exactly. yeah. Yeah. improvement and that kind of Something thing. that you can actually measure yeah. and objectively instead of just the, subjectively. Well, a lot of the departments are understaffed, maybe. And if they're taking on more and more that the state's requiring is not in their job description now, I mean, those mm -hmm. are the types of things that, as far as I would be concerned, would be the thing that would possibly give them a step. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing a job, like they said, you know. So. It seems like you want to alter the job description. Do if, if, you, if, if you're going to be exactly. doing more than your job description, yep. job description needs to be revised to include that stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. Simply so update. Temporary Simply. Right. Thing, right. 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 Yeah. Right. Well, typically that gets done when someone asks for a regrading. Okay. Um, or we do a whole compensation study and a consultant comes in and looks at everything and interviews everyone, et cetera, et cetera. But the kind of stuff Mary is talking about, and that Barbara addressed, I believe, last year, about how this, you know, I'll say it, insidious kind of constant happens in everything I do. Mm -hmm. Constant adding of requirements, public access, you know, records access, public meeting, you know, it's just, it's always happening to department heads. Mm -hmm. and it's called it job security. <laughs> Not at our level, it's called <coughs> job insecurity at our level. It's called, uh, but, um, you know, I don't know what someone said before, but it made me want to say, uh, in terms of the department, as people are doing their jobs and they're doing them well. Madam Chair, Kibbe. There's one over here. Corner over here. It's in the corner. You want to set the corner? <laughs> Pull it out. the lights. Yes, we, we can move. You hide over there, nobody will know you're here. No, you don't hide over there. <laughs> Budgets gone out to the departments. What's the schedule? According to this, they should have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The budget, budget request, request. Mm -hmm. for the no. capital improvement. Uh, November tenth, right? No, October it says on here. Yeah. Uh, November tenth is operating. Um, then, I think. <coughs> what did we? When's the? When are we meeting? Uh, uh, capital. They're due back by 12 one. So November 1st, I right. believe it I is, think yes. We, just, we, we wanted to just that day. Um, they have been forewarned. Well, right? actually, but yeah. They, yes, they, they're aware. We redrafted the letter um, and, and the form itself, so I added a section to include any, any capital items that you have currently and the status of them. And if you haven't spent, why? So we can stay on top of that as well. So you're just, everybody's sort of giving me one-on-one -on -one feedback, but we're going to get that feedback finally at the meeting on the first. They'll go out on the next the next day. Department heads are expecting it. They have, they have received, the department heads have received the verbal, but they haven't received the written because they wanted to tweak the last little bit we yeah. talked about just to make sure that so everybody would be on the same page. Okay. I 
Well, we're not. I, can leave. <laughs> um, I just wanted to make sure. about questions about the uh, schedule so then I'm assuming that we will see budgets or the, the package by or have it available for essentially January 1st set that's a good guess I didn't mean to, to have and, it. And you need to decide, because you know, I tried to press you all to have that conversation about the asterisk, but now that we're in it, so think, think about that when you want to start having some right. joint meetings and how you all want to proceed with it. I, I, I would say that uh, we will attempt for January 10th, uh, but that's pretty optimistic if having us make a decision. Well, no, I, I think, you know, your, your recommendations or whatever recommendations you wanted to make to the Finance Committee by the end of the month, I just wanted to have the budgets yeah. in hand so that we could look at them. Okay. Maybe talk about them, but not necessarily recommend them, although they probably are if there are 50 budgets, there are probably 20 budgets that, that well, we can yeah, group and just almost rubber stamp. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's just that uh, we have a couple things that we probably are going to have to try to figure out how we're going to finance. Like, we're going to have additional money to do take down fees around the cemetery. So that came up when we did, um, when I visited the cemeteries with Kevin. Um, there's a lot of trees that need to be taken down, so that should be an extra, other than our standard tree maintenance. A one-time type? One-time, we need to figure out, and, and I don't have an estimate, but it's probably around 20000 plus, because there's enough. We have 14 cemeteries. There's at least a tree or two in each one. Uh, is, is these trees uh, threatening the gravestones? Yes, they're going to cause a lot of damage. Oh, CPA. Right. Um, preservation. We might, we might be able to. Preservation. No, because no. so. that's yeah. maintenance. Yeah. That's yeah. Ma maintenance. Yes, I, 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 I For truly maintenance. Tree maintenance. Well, it's, it's, pre it's, 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 it's protecting gravestones. I mean, oh. if it, you know, you're, so you're preserving, yeah, you're yeah, preserving really. the integrity okay. of the gravestone because this tree comes down, it's going, okay. it's going to shatter we'll the gravestone. Like, yes. Okay. Right. So that's the risk. You know, yeah. and that, that would well, be. Well, and we don't want to. You know, we've been restoring fences. And well, I'd rather, I personally, I'd rather see it go there than some of the other places. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. well, we need to take care of the All right. I, I, I Sorry. suggest that. Sorry. Go ahead. No, but so there's a couple things like that that um, we've got to figure out um, that are different than, you know. Yeah, and I'll have some more things too. So. That's, that's fine. I mean, if some of that stuff can be, if we can use, uh, see, I, well, the, what is it? CPA. CPA, CPA funds. And oh, well then. For, we'll particularly for one time. I just didn't think that stuff. was eligible because that was. Well, I'll, you know, you well, guys we'll have can. To find that out. I have to really demonstrate. Do we have to get those trees? trees Do we have to get okay from the state to spend CPA money? No. No, you have guidelines. <laughs> you got to make sure you're, you're following. But you have guidelines. to make sure you. I mean, I. Town meeting vote only. We have proofs. To spend? 
Yeah. And look at it this way. If, if Bruce says we can spend it. If Bruce says we can spend it, he's gone. Thanks a lot. I wrote that down, too. Is that a better quote? Is that an No, Bruce said it, so that's no. another <laughs> Okay. Uh, what else do we... Uh, I would like to talk about the, the frontier stuff tonight, so that at least we can begin a little did you, discussion. Did you vote that ACO money? The, uh, the what? The reserve money for the... Trip. No, it isn't. We have, it hasn't been presented yet, so... It, I thought it was... Um, I, thought, I thought it was emailed to all of you from John. Well, I have it. The, 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 on the yeah. form that yeah. we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I have it. But I was going to add, I asked John about it, he said he didn't need it, and I didn't know whether you were going to be available. Oh, so yeah. Well. He didn't need it for 30 days. He did, yeah, he doesn't need it tonight. So that, oh, okay. So that That's was fine. the reason that. I know, I just wanted, you know, to, to speak for it. This, we, are, we, we just signed our three renewal of our, this is our fourth year. We had one three-year um, process, you know, contract. And then we've signed mm -hmm. in for another three-year agreement. And um, we used Greenfield's van for, we were hoping, four complete years. It didn't quite make the fourth year yeah. at no cost to us. And it was a handshake agreement in the sense that whatever expenses come down the pike, we're going to split as a percentage. And I know it sounds a little loosey-goosey, but it's, it has always been to our advantage because we've um, consistently received between 29.7% uh, and 35% of the services every year. So um, it it's, has worked to our advantage, um, and I would recommend that we continue with it. I have a problem. I, I will raise it if somebody else doesn't, okay. but I'm sure somebody else will. Kind of like to see that agreement rewritten so that it's tightened up, and it's you know I don't think it has to be done. As, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't have to be done before we take a vote on this. Maybe other people would have a different opinion on it. But, I uh, will take the opportunity to tighten it up when um, they feel a need to relook at um, the split of expenses. Can I guess I, my uh, my concern is is. Um, there's, you know, suppose be, uh, the, the copy I have is a one-year agreement, and somewhere along the line, evidently, you signed a multi-year agreement. Uh, maybe it is one year that we sign every year. In which case, but you're, maybe it is. Okay, but it's been, in, this is a fourth year. Yeah. In which case, now you're paying up front. If you decide to walk out next year, you have paid for the whole vehicle. I'm not, a, I'm, I'm not trying to fight this, but and I would not mind if they were to do a lifespan on the vehicle mm -hmm. and brought it back each year. But as far as paying up front for something that you don't know you're going to utilize, I do have an issue with that. Well, except that we use Greenfields for almost four years yeah. um, with no upfront cost. Well, no. you know, th th there again, the, the, the contract is so vague, you know, it says, uh, you know, you're going to uh, split expenses, but yet your budget shows no provisions for replacement vehicle or nothing. How about if we give them one of our old cruisers? You know, and even we only get twenty five hundred bucks for them. Give it to them. I so would you rather a four year agreement or a three year agreement? Well, whatever the lifespan of the vehicle is. If the last right. one lasted four years, then well, it's it's well, four would you years. Do agreement or no, longer than that? Yeah. Oh so yeah, no, the other one was old. like yeah. It was the other one. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. then if it's if you're going to prorate it out for seven years or eight years, then. Uh, I, I personally feel that that's what the assessment should be per year. I don't think we should be paying. The but they got to the but they got to come up with the funds. Yeah, so where are they going to get the funds? Yeah. You got to look at their side of it too. And, well, and, I understand and that, they, but and, uh, and, uh, and they didn't charge us anything for the almost four years. Then the, then the other then the I mean, other is we're still using the current one. It's just nipping along. Uh, if you if do you do we have do a written agreement as to what we pay for expenses? Just just cover the office or something. And if we redo this, you, it may go up. This is operating. What is operating? I mean, there's no definition of that. It's 25% of 
No, I'm, I'm looking at last year's budget. Says operating, it was a charge of, of $2,500. And that's all. It doesn't define what it is. You had the uh, uh, payroll and the benefits, and then you have a lump sum operating budget of $2,500. Yes. And our 25% of gas. Right. But, um, so but that's what I'm saying. There was no provision for a vehicle, for a replacement vehicle, and then no. Uh, but it was understood we would well, chip in if we wanted to continue to be part of the partnership. Well, you you do it either one of two ways. Either you have it prorated and you only pay so much, or you include an escape clause so that you get reimbursed any amount. One or the other. Well, my point is my opinion. Opinion. Tighten, tighten up the agreement. I you, we can we can beat this until. The cows come home, uh, and I understand both sides, mm -hmm. and and maybe it it makes sense, but maybe it's not completely doable. But at least, you know, the agreement really is kind of loose. It is loose, but it works very well. It's really based on the person, and um, you know, Colleen is yeah. excellent, even on both sides of. Disputes. People are happy with him. Um, he does really good animal removals. Um, I, you know, There's so no question on that, Carol. But it's just that you have to look I, at the you have to look at the what the service we'll is. We'll take it under advisement. Not, you have to look at what the service is, not the individual. That's what that's what contracts are for. It's not because you but are we here. Would probably not be so interested if we didn't have such a good person, and that's why we entered in the contract and and having him as the employee makes it valuable to us. Right, but it should not be based on a person. Well, well to, to what that's Bruce real is, life, Bruce. To what Bruce is saying, if, if this person got a different job or a better job, tell him he can't retire. No, I, he's not. He's willing to work there. But one's a good guy. Yeah, yeah. this should be a contract for the job. Right. Yeah. It, is, it is for the job. Does right? Montague have a contract? Not. Have one. I understand. Do they have a written contract? Same one. It's that yeah. one it's the same one we got. And why did they put aside money for an ambulance when we didn't have an idea we had to? I mean, for a vehicle? Because it wasn't. If I came to the finance committee and said, we think we need 25% of a van because it might break down and it might not, you would say, no. Wait till next so year. We're gonna, we were hoping it would go to through the whole year. I mean, I don't, I don't mind doing a reserve okay. fund transfer on it. I, so it's okay. I just well, wanted I to make sure that you had your information. That's all. But when it, in 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 the budgeting for the the overall position, and you know, you can argue that we shouldn't include the van, or we should, and so, but. Well, to me, it's the same thing as what happened tonight at Frontier. Here we are again. Delayed maintenance or whatever you want to call it. We now have a big ticket item. If we well, can't budget for what we need to budget for capital improvements, I just don't, I really don't feel we should be hit with major costs out of the reserve. Because it's really, they are anticipated. Capital improvements are anticipated. Is that the, is that the, um, the capital going? improvement committee did not want to um, weigh in on this because it didn't meet the criteria. It was less than the ten thousand. So, so, so then it's operating. Well, it's one of the other. It's one of the other. It's not less than ten thousand. It's uh, thirty-two thousand. Well, it's seven thousand off share. But our share. Twelve thousand. But the vehicle is a thirty-two thousand. Right. So we should be part. That should be approved. Should, our share. Should be part of capital. But the capital committee voted not to do that. Okay. I asked twice. Capital or operating? No, capital. One or the other. Could I just ask a question? So the view of the of that process would be to start, as Bruce is talking about, start anticipating a lot of things that we do not anticipate now and start banking the money away for it. We've talked about it for three years. Well, we last year we put money into a capital yeah. stabilization fund last year. Like I know. 100000 something. But like didn't that. have any reference. Yeah. Right. No reference to what it could be used for. Right. right. 
not at this Which point. Which could be used for anything. That's a start. Idea. Yeah. Hmm? It's a good start. Well, yeah. just under the guidelines of what we have, yep. as far as <coughs> so, I mean, the request coming forward, it'd have to be the $10,000 threshold to meet that's one criteria of the capital improvement. So are you, are you, is a $32,000 vehicle that's owned by the town of Greenfield, but used and our portion is under the amount, is that in your yeah, that's plan not, or is that that's, not that's, that's not addressed. I don't think that's It's capital. not addressed. It's not addressed. That I don't issue, think it's that capital issue either. is not addressed. Oh. Okay. No, in the <laughs> capital committee, I asked twice the last meeting and everyone agreed that it was not a capital. It didn't meet the it's criteria of what we have at this moment. Hmm? It's a reserve fund transfer. I mean, how, how do you do it otherwise? It was unforeseen. Being, it, meets, it meets the reserve we, fund. We will, we will consider it. Right. Right. I'm not saying of course. the committee will approve it, but we'll consider the, the request. Of course. And, you know, whenever we meet next, and, uh, but because we did have all of these questions about, it's yeah. kind of like if we can resolve those so that when we look at the, we actually take up the request. Yep. You have an Those are out of the way so that we can either. So we got Josh John, you've got two hundred thousand dollars. Maybe he'll give us that. <laughs> my my question speed. was just how do you how do you yeah. you know, for the future Don't you have another thousand cat control for this year. Whatever we might think Capital of in the future. How do how do it doesn't this meet my criteria? It doesn't meet John's <laughs> criteria. Is this uh, just one of those you, weird I things? Think we I think just off from it. The, everything that comes through on the uh, for reserve fund transfer is is out of the ordinary. I see. If it was not out of the ordinary, we would have budgeted. We would have budgeted. All right. right. Thank you. Yep. Or hopefully we would have budgeted. I'm not so what? sure, but at any rate. No, or we <laughs> defer the intent. Or we defer it until town meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Perfect. Or right. anyway, moving on, right? We're moving on. That's on the agenda. We've covered the agenda items. The only thing that we haven't talked okay. about is... All right, can I go back to budget then for a minute? We can. Um, as part of the budget letter that went out, uh, I understand that the Board of Selectmen made a recommendation on the budget? Yeah. Level service. service. Level service. And that's added. one budget they prepared. No, no alternate budgets were, that we discussed in our meeting? So all That's departments are going to come with a level funded budget. Right. Level, level service. service. Level, level service. service. We were looking for yes. level so. service. Well, right? We were looking right, Skip? We had several two, options. Two and a half. Two, or two, yeah. Which would be cost of living. Right. So but um, level service includes that COLA now. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. But pencils, right. and, level pencils and paper are going to go up two and a half percent also. Right. They could have. No, but I mean, if they budget two and a half percent for more. Understood. Item, that was one of the options we had. That, that would be. I okay. Bring, I bring those options to Okay. Forward. I did. All right. So that was the recommendation. That's fine. Well, I would What's like that? to talk about Frontier's request. What? Uh, how do we want to handle that? I mean, it's a fairly substantial. I had a couple of questions. Did she answer your questions? I, Bruce sent me questions. Of, she had, and I asked I permission, checked, I sent them on to her. They were the part of her PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, mm -hmm. I, I checked them all off. Okay. Why can't they ask for the money? They can't. We discussed that coming over here in the way. They are. But, but they're telling you that they want to vote and this is what they want to budget. No, no, no. Annually. Why, Why don't they ask for some money? Right. Well, they we, say we can't. They said, Why well, can't they? They can't. They but just then don't want. Turned down. They just don't want. Well, they don't want to. They don't want to be over a certain. They don't January. want to. They don't want to impact their normal school budget that right. they've been run year after year after year. Is what right. it comes down to. Right. And they're afraid to ask for what they really need as far as the capital improvement projects because it would blow their budget might, right, right out of the right. Right. So, right. So so exactly. exactly. All so of a sudden. People would start asking questions. Well, if you want to spend X amount of dollars on capital, then you're going to have to come over here and revisit your normal budget, school budget, and they don't want to do that. So it's BS. Right. That, that's my sense Me of it. Too. What I took from that, too, is it, it took a little while, but it was almost like a little poker game going on there. Yes. They're asking $25,000 for an $8,000 lawnmower, 
$70,000 for a $32,000 loan and yeah, yeah. $400,000 for a roof that doesn't need to get done. I mean, it's almost like they put this number out there and, they, and they, if we come back with a number that's like $2 million, I'm just saying, that then they're going to be happy. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, you know, they just pick these numbers randomly. They said they had consultants and then they got other experts coming. I, I don't know. You can't put a by They out said they referred to similar projects that were yeah. already done, and that you can't can. do they that. Need, they need to do the groundwork, it, it seems like. Right. They still, a and this was a pass. first kind of pass mm -hmm. by. They're not, but, I don't think they're But the problem is, and, and I should have mentioned this, is that what they do when and they create documents like that is everybody in town gets to see it and or hear, mm -hmm. and then they go ballistic. They say, oh, you know, they're just looking for all this stuff, and it's, you know, they're already 70% of the budget, so. You know, people really get fed up with that. But so then when they come back with a two million dollar figure, people say, "Oh, they did turn it back." <laughs> <laughs> but you, so do you have this? And it probably should have been originally one point five million <laughs> request. But so you, you do have this. Uh, was there was the point that I heard tonight that that you have to spend money to get you an accurate yes. figure? Right. How much? Do you, I mean, they, they don't have no clue. Right. So. So they, need to do so they either they either going to have to do that going forward. Well, so they I think need this the money like for a list, right? So they, they want do. the money. They want the three point four million dollars. Then they're going to yeah, start the process. Yeah, that's probably not going to how it's going to yeah. happen. That, but that's what they're asking. For. Sure. Yeah. I Basically, mean, what they're asking the for is a blank yeah. check. Yeah. Right. right. How they did. They're asking for a blank yeah. check. They're asking for a slush fund. And they're going to go out after they get their slush fund, yeah. bid what they're going to bid, and if there's money left over, guess what? It's I not going back to the town. Okay. So sure it's all that, I don't think really they're going to get all the items. No. I think they. I think they are really. I think that if we as a community come to them and say, these are the real priorities we see off the list. This is the right way that you should go out and get the money. And, these are the right ways to do that study to get accurate figures. I don't think they have the expertise that we have in the field or in our community. I think they really could use the help and we could benefit by by narrowing down that figure and really doing that. Well, that's why I mentioned the subcommittee. Absolutely. Who's going to be, be sitting like on that subcommittee. And, and, it's huge. You know, it's got to be some people who really, you know, right. Bruce knows this stuff inside now. We really should pull our brain power together, and I, I you know, I generally that. speaking, agree that we need to. There need to be people on that committee other than just a couple uh, school of school committee, four school committee. Yeah, absolutely, they need. And the school really committee know. numbers have to be less than fifty percent. <coughs> well, you're right. Don't have a voting majority. Two point five. Yeah. I, so I think we should so. It's kind of like four towns. Too. Yeah. We you know what else they need to add to it? The legal, the legal fees associated with. Get yep. the bond. Yep. And we're talking hundreds of thousands of sure. dollars there. Sure. I don't want to bring up the source box, but that's why I brought up Greenfield. You take yes. if you remember what happened to that middle school mm -hmm. in yeah. Greenfield. Yeah. Change the law in the state. Oh, yeah. the is that right? Well, that, I mean, <laughs> well, that was that was because they ended up hiring the, the quote cheapest. Yeah. yeah. And and so that well, really there, was yeah. The issue. There is some other issues there too. Well, but that. They ended up with a contractor who was not qualified to do it and who would, wasn't able to do the job for the bid price. And every time they turned around, they nickel dime them. They nickel, they, you know, they had change and, orders. And every one of them that was an owner, primary owner, was a lawyer. So they knew how to screw you over. Let me ask you, too, this question. Can you remember who was accountable for that fiasco? Yeah, I, mean, I don't know what you mean. Or? No, the taxpayers. Oh. <laughs> That's who was held accountable. Nobody was held accountable well, for that. The school building I knew, I remember who was on the school building committee and were not people. Mm. So how did we do the former school they project that went beautifully, the four elementary schools? I was on the town council at the time, Bob right. Lansky. Yeah. When you have the right people, people. you know. Well, but if you hire and as I say, good intentions. But now we to have do to have a that project job. manager and all of this stuff as a result of that the law changed. Mm -hmm. John Merrick got the so how do we nominate our brain trust from this town and work with the others in the other we three don't. towns? We uh, It's or, up to the know. school committee whether they even want well, to have. We can. We we have but, some influence. But Bruce, though. we should be proactive. I, I think I think they will be. They will be open to us. Okay, I understand. Bring that to them. But I think I think the first thing my feeling is um, they need to determine how they're going to procure these items. Because a design and selection committee needs to be formed if it's going to be building related, and they have they have to follow certain rules. Mm -hmm. 
Chapter 7, Design and Selection Law, they have to have a building committee specifically for those items. And they have to have, if it's going to exceed $1.5 million, they require an oldest project manager to be involved from day one. That's why it's got to be less than $1.5 million. Well, there are also items on so there. So if they group them really by procurement process, they can yeah. use the, the combi, the state procurement process, right. to get vendors to do some of these items. But if they don't group them by items, they're not going to be following the procurement requirements. Well, the other thing, the other thing that concerns me is the list they put out there. So, say you give them the $3.4 million. In five years, 10 years, 20 years, okay, whatever the lifespan is, that same list is going to come back mm -hmm. plus whatever is done there. Exactly they have made no provisions for staging this in because you're anticipating doing mm -hmm. it in two years. Mm -hmm. Which okay. is ridiculous. So, so, yeah. so that, that on top, that's going to require this bond, of course, in 20 years, going to be twice as much. Plus, the building itself is going to be. Mm -hmm. So you're going to end up with another $40 million bond in 20 years. Right. And, um, and well, I mean, was. some of that stuff, here again, as the guy from Whateley said, no, this is stuff that should have been done on an annual basis, you know, mm -hmm. urinals, water, uh, w uh, water things, uh, you know, toilet partitions. Uh, Stair and treads. I need to replace partitions. I don't understand. And, because they rot out. And what metal the bottom. Yeah, the bottom. Yeah. The bottom yeah. Really you know, I'm not disagreeing with a lot of that list. Right. Okay? It's it just that it, it bothers me that they let do, want to do this long song because that means oh, everything's going to come due somewhere down the road. Mm -hmm. And, right, for years. and so they, they, they need to break, they, they need to really <coughs> intelligent break down what the lifespan is left of that list that they have. And then, then stage that. And if it means, it probably costs a little more, but if it means a $1.2 million bond this year, and then three years down the road, another mm -hmm. 1.2, mm -hmm. and then five years Same. down the road, a $2 mm -hmm. million. Whatever, but at least you moved everything down the road so that when it comes it's due staggered. again, now you're going to now it's you're going to have to roll it. It's not a low sum. So you're not right. going to blow, blow uh, uh, you know, uh, you want $20 million, million dollars all at once. You want a motion? Okay, well, I make a motion that we put Bruce on that committee and let the rec selectman <laughs> send his nomination. In. I see Bruce. twins here. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, Bruce Bruce and Bruce 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 Bruce. Bruce. No, 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 no. I think it's really important that you guys are really into the details, and it's very important to have details in this process in the beginning. That's exactly it what we're talking about. It has to be set up correctly. Anybody second my motion? Well, and, I think it is. And I up can't to the think town. of better people to represent us as a town. Well, well, I can only be advisory. Yeah, it is. It's only going to be part of a committee. But if you, if we all put you forward as as select board finance committee representatives, well, I think is it safe to say that the first thing that we think needs to be done is that whether it's a building committee or some sort of committee to go over and review what their requests are, and this is a committee that would be comprised of not just school. Yep. committee people but but people school committee plus people from all four towns that that uh, can look at it and maybe you yeah. can divide some yeah. for example the tractors yeah. I, I mean the tractors we they may need the tractors but it doesn't seem to me that that has anything to do with the school building right wow. so let's split those so out of there yeah they could, they could and, and I, if, I don't know if there are other ones in there well, that most of them. well your scoreboard and your goal posts yeah I was thinking you know, and, and they're right about the grants, there's all those strings attached to the grant monies, but at the same time, sponsorships, yeah. sponsors. And I mean, somebody would be reasons. more than happy to hang their shingle on the scoreboard, football scoreboard. $5,000, right. you, you, yeah. you, you Exactly, better. you better believe it. Let you make a few calls in that. Let the, foot, let the football team go out and try and raise some money. Well, like I say, well, no, you, you get a sponsor, you get a sponsor, and it could take care of two of those yeah. items. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, 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 and I think you could. Well, well, I mean, Somebody complained to me to the Yankee Candle on the side. I said, you want to donate 35000 I'll put your name on the side. I don't care. Well, Madam Chairman. That's not Madam, Mr. Chairman. If you if you need to if you need to raise your hand to get your two cents worth, then speak up. Yeah, I, I wanted to say call the meeting to order. Everyone was talking. I just I think that um, if we can, I don't know how to do it, but we can we can lobby 
super, the administration to get a few of our brain trust on that committee mm -hmm. and lobby the other towns or yeah. they'll do their own lobbying. But if we can get a good group together, I think we could control that and, as Bruce said, divide that up by procurement. And So let me ask the question. Can you run that past the other town administrators and see what their thoughts are? Is tell that the way to well, start? Um, yeah, tell them we have two people that are willing. I would well, just no, 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 I'm saying. Then, we have then, still then, still I, I can just it. tell the administrator, we're, you know, I mean, the superintendent that, you know, after the meeting we met, have, we and have. there was a strong desire to see representation from. But I'd like to see all the other towns make that same yes, request. That's exactly. what I'm asking. So if you can bounce that, sure. whether we use the selectmen or or the town administrators and let each one of the town administrators poll the selectmen and see what their well, thoughts are. Some of you Wendy says around she around doesn't like all these extra jobs you're giving her, you know. <laughs> I'm not. That's it's, not it's a, a task. That's a, yeah. so Without pay, you don't. Some know. of you have been around long enough. They've done other projects before. How did they come up with building committee? They haven't done other projects. The last project they did of any significance was the school itself. That was 21 years ago. The addition on the front. Well, that's case point right there. Right, exactly. <laughs> okay, so yes, I, I will do that. I but it's that. really important to have the source of funding. There's different fundings, all those things, like you have lifespans. So lifespans are different. I'm not, I'm not into like doing this bond for a long term because you're you're ha you're putting expense in long term when your lifespan of some of these items is so short. Mm -hmm. So you need to figure out where we can break it up. And and we get green community grants. We know we can use. We have CPA money for some of this stuff. And th and that stuff could go through this year. And maybe they could talk about um, their you know their operating budget. Some of this stuff could move to that, and we could discuss that as they put a budget up for this year. And, next and, year, and I would year and I would suggest not to put you on the spot, mm -hmm. but if it's happened, if Frontier has a problem, then all well, of the, the they all all three schools this. have problems. We, we have been this. really trying. Trevor and I both have worked with the elementary school to have them bring something forward to the capital. And we'll I want to. We I don't know what. So successful. We'll have, we have new leadership still, there. I don't it's know still. what kind of roof they have at Frontier. It's flat. Is it flat? Flat. But it's one of those things. I brought it up tonight. Was before well, after you guys left. Okay. It's one 20, point. It's 21 years old. I know. I said, is, is, is it we got another bond in 10 years from the roof? Right. Well, and yeah, that's a major bond. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it's probably less than 10 years. Will that roof last? I don't know years? what the life expectancy of the roof was. What's the life expectancy of, a, of a, that kind of a roof? I think that's it. Is. I looked, I looked 30 at that. 30 or 40 years. Sir. I looked at that roof very carefully. Mm -hmm. None of what they call the welds and molding for yep. None of them were peeling at all. They still had nice, uh, it's almost okay. like a melted joint. You can see that. There was no cracks in the uh, subs, uh, not what do you call it, the, the strand, uh, upper strand. Yep. It, it's real good. I mean, you know, that okay. roof can go, straight, yeah. it can go another 10 years before okay. you're going to start to see any of this deterioration. I really feel confident of that. I looked at all of the corners, and I was there on a cold day. They were still very soft and pliable. I, I don't know where the heck they're coming up with this replacing of this flashing and stuff. You can go up there, and you can look and see daylight right through the way those, mm -hmm. all they are well, metal panels. We're are talking two looking. different roofs, though. Well, well the ER, but the, the yeah. flat roof is all around this thing. No, I know, but the the addition has a flat roof. The right. Pre, uh, the uh, uh, seventh grade has a sure. flat roof. When are those roofs included? I think their five-year plan is is Under, needs work. Right. It needs to be a more uh, yeah. a longer plan for one, it's especially tough. whether you have a major building. It needs to be a twenty-year plan because you have things that will fail in twenty years. This is what they presented tonight? That's not a five-year plan. That's part of their five-year plan. No, five -year plan no they, they said it tonight. They this. said it tonight. This is, everything ran out at the same time. Oh, I ran understand. out, but it needed to be replaced. But they, and, and they're talking about hindsight uh, in the past. They're not talking about going forward. Oh, I know. I, I, but so I don't see that, year, I don't see that as a five-year plan. But they have a five-year plan. I think their five-year plan needs to be a 20-year plan. I haven't seen it. They, no, I haven't seen it either. No, I wrote down, I haven't seen the plan. All right, they referred to it, but I haven't seen it. So I think this is the school committee's responsibility. No, I agree 100%. And, um, but they're not, they're obvious, the problem they is don't have the school any committee to do it the right is way. not doing it, so somewhere along the way, we need, it, we need to get some input. I have a, I, mean, not, I think they're I'm the ones who should have been presenting tonight. 
with the guidance of the administration, but it, it should have been vetted through them first. I know you talked about this being a first pass, but then you, you're too early with something mm -hmm. before your own committee has mm -hmm. talked about it. That, oh, that was, I, I gave that feedback. I, I have another question. With the regional agreement, are we locked into those percentages? I think yes, so, but I'm not sure. Okay. It changes okay. every year. Yeah. It's a five year. Well, that, that was my question. Five, five years. Year. So rolling five, five years. Year. So yes. we can't um, be locked into those. We may be locked into the. For a bond? Yes. Percentage? We may be locked into that percentage. You need to take a look at the agreement. Well, that's not, I mean, somebody, somebody does. Not somebody, me. okay. <laughs> no. That's not. That's not. You Bruce? Bruce? That's no, I, I'm answering yeah, the yeah, question. Yeah. If we're now at 30% because our enrollment's down, the, is that if it's based on? No, we're not down to 30%. No, but if it's, if it's based on enrollment, I know that they made a motion the other night for a um, food service person in the, the the, the capital cap, the percentages were capped as of a certain date. The capital items may very well be a capital budget, if you want to call it that, may very well be locked in based on the agreement, the way the agreement was written, and it specified the percentage in the agreement. But they this said there's nothing forever. capital at all in the original agreement. So well, that we're just we're going by whatever percentage is it is currently. It very well might not be that percentage. It might be fine for us. It might be in our best interest to hold that. But some of these other towns might change drastically. So I, I, if they don't have a capital agreement in the regional agreement, they which don't. they say they don't. I don't think they do. I think then they they, then the is the percentage money. that we're working off of is based on what we pay now. Yes. And, and, and some of this there. stuff is obviously operational. Right. The telephone system to me is operational. It's yeah. not... It's not a capital item. I don't care if it costs twenty-five thousand bucks. It's not a capital item. Uh, so it that, that shouldn't be, anyways. But yeah. And I don't think if they need to evaluate the HVA system, HVAC system, they can't just. They say they want to replace everything. You don't right. need to replace yeah. everything. Right. You got a lousy motor. You replace the motor. Yeah. I, mean, there's, there's I can see replacing study. a compressor. Yeah. After 20 years or something, because you'll Another get something that's member. more efficient. Yeah, I know. Mm. <laughs> that's what the committee I'm needs. I'm not saying it. Is what I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not I'm just saying <laughs> we replace motors on on the and vent system. And the part, there. the problem that they had there when they showed you the picture with the door missing, whose fault was that? That's poor maintenance. Yeah, I mean, you can insulate that ductwork. That's, 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 that's what they're supposed for to do. For 150 say, bucks. A year or so ago, when I was up there, I said to Bob, I said, you know, for about a thousand dollars, you can buy. Uh, insulation, you can wrap around that. You, your janitors can do that. And yeah. You'd say, look, but you know, you can see. don't do nothing it's, except. It's all man. condensating on the ductwork when the air conditioner's running. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, the air leaving that thing is probably 50 degrees when it gets is out of the classroom. Is that a supply duct? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's not a return? No, well, the, there, none of them well, are. None of them are. That's, just, that's a supply duct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The big one they showed, a yeah. supply duct. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, can we move on? Yes. We're yeah. talking about this stuff. Yeah, I'm willing to move on out of it. <laughs> I just didn't want to we're beating a dead horse at this we point. We are beating a dead horse. And, and we're going to need some nomination at The horse doesn't know it's alive. And they so need a new rug. Oh, is it they need a new rug in the locker rooms because there was one patch missing this big? Yeah, well, you know, you know how much that rubber flooring is? It's not really expensive. You no, no, I'm not talking about the I'm talking about the rug. But you can install that yourself. We're moving on. Oh, it's that carpet. Okay, okay. But we are moving before on. Before we move on, I would just like to say again, we're going to need to eventually put somebody up or, an, or, a, or a group or something to kind of, I'll do my best to lobby that we get some representation on that board. We'll need somebody to step up that has some experience with this kind of stuff. So it really depends on how big they're going to have it, how many people from each community they want right. to have, and well, what I expertise they want to have. The so, we, yeah, you, guys, you guys, it's so big. Aren't, aren't you advocating for just a couple of communities? Because if it's too big, You'll never get we'll, we'll, done. We don't I mean, know. We'll, look, look at the discussion we're having here. What do we get? Ten people around? Right, exactly. Don't have a say. Right. <laughs> we don't have a say. In. Okay. Yet. So, what else do we have that uh, that we can beat on for a while? Next meeting day. Yeah. That's what what well, until we have something that we need to do. Yeah. Oh. Get our budget for, uh, the only other thing that I'd like to bring up yeah. is that. Uh, um, I think communication between the group needs to be better. 
Well, between the Finance Committee, I mean, I know that you tend to have meetings with the Treasurer, and we don't hear the response. And I think we can't do it by email because of the open meeting law, but it would be nice to know what your discussions are, and if they, because we don't know what they are. And it's not to say you shouldn't have that them. information. He can turn around and have a meeting with the treasurer or whoever. Yeah. And he can send a little report down saying, these are some questions I asked and these Perfect. are the results. That's exactly and what that's I think should happen. And that's not conflict of interest. Okay. I think that's what we need to have. The, While we're on this, topic, actually, this is what I spent the most time talking with. No, that, that's and, good. And I did, yeah. and I did talk, but this is out of this committee. I talked about personnel issues. But it would uh, just be nice to know what the chairman's communication is with other staff. That's all. Can I add something to that? Yeah. In addition to that, if you will funnel your questions through the chair, because Brenda and I, for the most part, Barbara as well, but mostly Brenda and me, is, are getting from you, particular Bruce, all kinds of questions about different things, but others as well. And it would really be more helpful to go, because some of it gets repeated because you're not the only one that might ask a particular question. It would be much, it's a, it's a financial issue when we're spending time giving the same answer to different people. So if somehow you could work out a way of communicating through the chair, and then the chair reports back, as Bruce was just asking, that would be helpful to us as well. I would, I would prefer to do something like, if there are things that this committee needs to do, information that this committee needs to attract that it shouldn't necessarily, whether it's me or anyone else who over the chair, it shouldn't necessarily be the chair who's doing all of it. There's no reason that that can't be assigned. That's right. So I that I would prefer to see. So if it's, you know, something that had to do with with the uh, personnel personnel issues, you I'm not going to Mary to look at it. Mary to look at it. Uh, or ask, you know, I can provide, you know, if there's a question that I have and, and, and ask you for an answer, uh, if it's something this committee needs to, needs I, to review. I agree, but I just don't know okay. what we, we don't know what we don't know. Right. No, he's addressing yeah, and that response. He's addressing Wendy's issue. I understand. Yes. Right? Yes, but even at that, yes. Yes. We, we don't know what your question right. or so the personnel So once you question. get the information. Right how it goes back, you have to decide that. Does right. it go to you to get back, right. or does everybody report back? But I think people should report back during a meeting like this. Yeah, I agree. Yes. Yeah. So if, we're all here, or if should Bruce be here. Is, if Bruce is looking at something that, for Can example, the, 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 you have more information or more knowledge about the public construction law. Yeah, those kinds yeah. of things. Don't, no reason to pass that information to me, no. and then have me Present it, go and, and you sit there going, "Oh, he doesn't even know what he's talking about." Well, you I'm present. Going to end up with an issue with agendas, right? Well, you can do it that way. Not necessarily. Huh? The other part is we have to think about Wendy's time Correct. as well, too, and like how how you're getting all that information out to people, right? Or getting asked all that information. Is there a specific time or an well, avenue? But the, you the question really started well, off I'm, having it I'll all funneled to me, right, and then right, having me ask all the questions, them. and it's like. That's a lot. And, and then I could ask a question and not understand it well enough to get an answer back that makes any sense to anyone. Yeah. So, so maybe the well, question's asked and, you, and it gets answered at a and meeting. And so if somebody, if, and, it, and it should be done in a meeting. Yeah. Yeah. We need yeah. this information. That's what we think. And, and then it's like, yeah. Mary, can you do that? Or we'll Bruce, can you do that? But we can have a chairman's report on the agenda. Or just for the other items. Yeah. I, I think the general idea here is just to be sensitive of of Brenda's time because she is such a good person. She's not going to say no, but it does weigh her down if she's you know giving out the same information over and over again. So the idea is to funnel as many questions as possible, either to Wendy somehow, or no, to Brenda, or Brenda, or whatever, no. so that Within reason. Brenda, so that Brenda gets the information gets asked once and not three or four times or five times. I mean, because it does, it takes up, it is a financial burden in the sense that, you know, we're not 
you know, utilizing the time as best as best we could. So, if we can just organize the questions in a way that can be answered once, everybody gets or, the same information. Or basically, if right. the if the question is first asked here, mm. right. and then Perfect. it goes back. Yep. Perfect. Whoever's doing it. Right, and and so that everybody understands the question too, because everybody goes in with just a slightly, maybe a little twist on the question too. So th this way everybody's getting the same answer to pretty much the same question. And then if it's, and if it's not clear, then it can be clarified with, with further information, um, that kind of thing. It's still about most of this old meeting law is strangling small government it's sure because it that works. It, it, what's it you, is, I, know. I totally agree with what you say, it sounds fine, but unfortunately, the problem is too many times when you ask a question or get an answer, it brings another question. So now you've got to go back to the meeting, and then the following month on the same subject, you've got to clarify the question that was brought up for the answer that came up. And it's all it business, it no business. Stifling. Yeah, it's stifling, Bruce, and I don't know what the answer is. Bruce, it's just it is sloppy. very frustrating oh, because you can't it? even have a discussion on, you know. Just, I know it. That's what's I, I mean, it's, it's very difficult. It's it's. No, it's killing small town government. Mm -hmm. it is. Well, I, think we should, I think we I think should have. I've been on Facebook and got a lot of likes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. Yeah. It's very difficult, but. Well, we could put a, an agenda item as open discussion mm -hmm. relative to yeah, finance and, and committee yeah. issues. I well, yeah, but I'm talking here, about as far as. And yeah. we can try, yeah, try to get kind of different. Free, yeah. falling, free flowing conversation that you often have, there'll be things I'm taking notes, oh, she'll take notes, and we'll follow up. Yeah. We can do that. We'll try it. So now that you now that you've got yeah. that, is there information that is there something that we need to have information on at the next meeting? Go ahead. Quick question: We CPA, the three percent compared to one percent, seeing on the state reimbursement, is that something we want to look at to give taxpayers a little bit of a break? And the majority of the money, from my understanding, is we're getting through the first round anyways. Right. So why, why continue to do the 3%, it, we, especially when we can see ahead that we're going to have some major increases in our taxes one way or the other. Yeah. And to give the, a little bit, it's not, not a big deal, but at least it's a little bit of relief. Sure. And we have built up a pretty good sum of money mm -hmm. in those accounts. So, you know, maybe it'd be a good idea to step back for a little bit, take a little bit of a breather, and and go with a one percent instead of a three percent. At least you can collect some money from the state for a match. Right. And then, would you, you know, would if, you we, if we need to, look at that at the next meeting. If we I don't have a problem it's doing that, it. and I think we well, need to have the so right. It's 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 it's, well, it's well, not an easy thing, but is that something that we would like to address? I want to make sure that's more complicated. Yeah. No, but that we can discuss that at the next meeting. We do need. It's the selectmen. Right. Right. What I would like to do. Yep. What I would like to do is is I'm I'm open to it because I agree that we're you know we're not going to get the 100 percent match anymore because it was really important to take advantage of the 100 percent sure. match. Mm -hmm. But having Boston voted it in has really impacted the fund and it and it looks like until they come up with a, a funding mechanism that is going to you know increase it dramatically we're not going to be able to offset um, you know Boston's participation. That can so, be done a special town meeting. So, be done an annual. Right. so w the one thing though I would like us to do is we need to sort out what we're doing uh, with the community center, the church, and the and our, and our senior housing because you can borrow against the CPA. And so before we have a final reduction or anything like that, this could be a funding source that we could, you know, um, utilize to get some of this stuff done. And I know everyone says, oh, it's sitting, you know, we've got a big fund sitting there. Well, it's because we have big projects. We have, you know, the community center and we want to do senior housing. And those are, those are, that is a drop in the bucket for those kind of projects. So well, in fact you didn't want to use the CPA funds for yeah. the community center because of different uh, you know Well we when we when we get no well we need to be cautious but honestly um, we want to be able to take advantage of when we have a hire an architect. There's no reason we can't discuss get, it. Right. We want to be able to use the funding. So I'm open to flexibility on this, but I also want us to have a, a long term plan. 
and if, it, if this can be a funding source long term, it makes sense that we still participate in it. But, you know, then, then can I we mean, put that, let's, can let's we, just talk about it. Well, and, let's put it on the, it, we can put it on the Finance Committee's agenda for the next meeting, whenever that is. And, and uh, that's assuming that, you know, we, I don't know, when, do people, when are people looking to meet again? Because I, I don't see anything coming up immediately that we need to address with the exception of the, the reserve fund transfer that whenever that gets well, that plus the needed. CPA thing now. The what? Just what well, we're going to do with CPA. You know, if we defer that to the next meeting and we have all these budgets in front of us. We, we won't that won't be until January. No, we're, we'll yeah. meet before January, but I would assume. But I, I didn't say think that we need to the, meet in two weeks. Once you get the request for the funding for the cruiser or the van, mm -hmm. then you ought to schedule a meeting. So we have the request. Yeah, yeah, John, yeah, John, John sent it out. Chief, Chief Patricia. <laughs> so is there more information you'd like about that? The, the van? Well, to, to be able to vote on that, yeah. Well, I contract. guess, I guess the, that's up to the committee. What's so the, we'll give that feedback to John. You kind of well, what's the committee's? What to do from there. I mean, I've already told you that I, I can I can live with the. So what the request is, you're asking for eight thousand dollars to be transferred to the town of Greenfield so they can buy a new van. Is that it? Yeah. Or wherever the transfer goes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we can set aside. Then I'll make a motion that we transfer from my reserve fund some of eight thousand dollars for that van. Seven thousand eight hundred twenty-six dollars and twenty. That's what I said, Bruce. That's what you're talking about. Seven eight two six. That is not on the agenda tonight. No, it's not. Let's can we can't can come in on other business? Yeah, it is. So let's take it off. It's on the agenda. It's on the well, agenda. I thought it was on the agenda because I had. I, I, yeah, I, I was told everybody to it was coming off the agenda because it, was it wasn't needed, and I knew there were other questions coming up. I don't want to take this vote and have it go down the drain. And that's, I guess that's a concern that we have. Make a confirming well, vote next was, meeting. Was it posted with it on the agenda? Yes. Uh, yeah, it then was. It's, then it's legal. Yeah. No, I right. don't believe it was. It's not a question of being legal. I understand What's the agenda? I, it's fine. It's Who's on there. copy of the agenda? Can it's it probably the, posted right out in the It's on the Can it come out in new business? If it's on the agenda, then no. we can talk about not it. Well, even if it's not on the agenda. Not a vote. Not a vote. Not a vote. Oh, it has to be specific. It has to be on the agenda. Reserve mm -hmm. fund transfers. Yeah, it's right on there. Yeah, it's, it's on there. It's a discussion, but not for a vote. It well, doesn't no, pass. It doesn't, doesn't say I have to have a vote. Okay. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't say anything. It's on the reserve fund transfer. You, you <laughs> talk about it and you vote on it. Okay. Whatever. My motion stands. Corrected by Bruce's seven thousand eight hundred sixty-six dollars and twenty. Seven thousand eight hundred twenty-six. That's what I said. <laughs> here, here, I got it. I got it. Okay, I'll second it. Put it to bed. Now you want to uh, okay. discuss it? Yeah, yeah I want to I discuss think it. that we've had a good relationship with Greenfield Montague. We ought to continue, and I think as part of this, we should instruct the selectmen, since we can't do that, to try and tighten up the agreement. So we've asked them to do that. I know. Uh, I hear that. Yep. I, I will try to do that. And for that, I support it. Having the percentages reviewed. Do we have any options other than the town of Greenfield? Any other uh, options? Oh. For, for a dog. For a dog and mm -hmm. animal control? I have to say that control? in my many years, many towns, it has been one of the number one problems is finding someone to do this job. And thought, keeping someone. I thought the jail did it. No, jail they provides the, the shelter. The shelter. They don't but they have a. They actually have a, a vehicle that picks them up. No. Yeah, they have a vehicle that has cages on it. Yes, but they. But what happens that is they take it to the vet. Yeah. I know. They take it. Yeah, they don't do animals that are already brought there. Yeah. Or captured. They move it around. Okay. They're not providing yeah. animals. No, they're not. not no, providing no, no, animals. I have to say. So nobody else is. I don't think in the. In the Previous time when I was here for seven months, nor since I've been here, yeah. have I ever gone this long in any town and not gotten a call complaining about an animal? And that's what's happened here. I mean, really lucky. We are really extremely lucky. Yeah. Have you had a dog here I'm since not, you've been on the board? No, I've watched them. I mean, you can read in the paper. Old-fashioned. Yeah, but even if when we do have dog problems, 
if old people are old happy old. with clean. Okay. And okay. Well, I, I have to admit, I mean, I called them because I had a stray horse, a donkey, and a large black goat. They came and cut all of them. <laughs> and he oh, gets sure they weren't yours. They were all skunks. one time. <laughs> <laughs> how did they fit in the van? The <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why the van doesn't work anymore. Exactly. Were these but those animal team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they were steering wheel. But he thought that was your Let's do the. They were. He's with wonderful with skunks. He's wonderful with feral cats. He handles all these feral cats. Oh my gosh. I mean, okay, let's put it to a vote. Yeah. Okay, all those in favor of the reserve fund transfer, seven thousand eight hundred and how many dollars? Twenty-six and twenty-four cents. Okay. Hi. 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 Aye. 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 Yep. Really? <laughs> Opposed? Six zero. I want it noted that the, the opposition is zero. not the service, it is the uh, prepaying for a van. Okay. So it's six one zero. Okay. I, I will note all I of thought it was going to go down. I, I understand your concerns, and I just, noted it. I make sense. <laughs> there isn't deal. much we could do when we had free use of Blue Hills okay. van for almost four years. I, I completely I understand where this is coming from. Yeah. 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 But I, 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 I would also I would also be a little hesitant to try to prorate that. Mm -hmm. Because if you prorate it for six years or seven years, does that mean in six years, no matter what condition that van is, are they going to go back for a new van? Yes. I'd rather do the reimbursement if you left, you would yeah. be reimbursed X amount of dollars. Right. But that, that's not on the table. Uh, but yeah. that's not on table. I know. That's why we're asking them to tighten the agreement up. Yeah. Right. We'll work on that. Uh, we'll work on Can that. I? Right. Colleen is just wonderful. He'll take care of the vehicle. He has nursed this vehicle along <coughs> for a while, and I'm sure we will get more than seven or eight years out of this van based on his use. Uh, well, again, I'm just there. reading the contract. You know, one of the things is one of it says split all costs, but then item number eight, vehicle Greenfield shall provide the ACO with a town issued vehicle capable of meeting the needs of the ACO with necessary equipment. <coughs> that's why it's too loosey goosey. Or that's why they're going to fix it. Yeah. My concern was with the five thousand dollars worth of flashing lights. He's going to have a hell of a time. Well, yeah. 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 But that's for the donkey. That's the tr yeah. yeah. Put the donkey in a trance. How about on December twelfth? <laughs> So, meeting. Do you, what are we going to discuss in December 12th? Well, you, can we get, can we get, we'll have at least cat lab so we can see them and look at them. Yeah. Well, there's nothing like personnel. Personnel? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so I think December 12th is what we're going to do. Yeah. 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 December 12th. I'm just throwing it out. If people have other ideas, that's fine with me. It get, you get you a meeting in a meeting in before the holidays, is what my only thought was. And then I that's a great idea. We're back into January when we should have. And if I'm not here, start to meet about Right. Yeah. So you're gone, huh, John? Do you want to go back a week? Or what do you, what do you get? Back about then. You get something you can't. No. What about the week before? The fifth. Anyways. How are you for the fifth? I won't be able to do the fifth. Well, I'll be able to do the fifth, but I'll only be able to raise my hand. I won't say anything. December first. Let's do the fifth. Let's do the fifth. Yeah. Thank you. Really? Hey, you have the fifth. You're vocal. You're vocal enough. I'm gone. I'm done. I won't be here for then and a month going beyond that. What? The twelfth and beyond. The fifth. Five week paid vacation. So you're going to do a FEMA deployment? The twelfth. The fifth. Yes. FEMA deployment. Boy, is that a, that's a catch me out type of job. It's a what job? Catch me out. Cash me out? Cats me Cats out. Me out. <laughs> Cash me out. Cash me out. I mean, you're, you're we're going to do it. Is that a budget line? 30 or 7? One of those Cash line items? That's free cash. What time are we going to do the meeting at? What are we, which so day? Do we, we conclude on a date? The 5th. Fifth. The 5th? Fifth? 5. The fifth, because that way Jeff can't say anything, but he can raise his hand. Yeah. No, that's okay. Probably what do you do? What do you be doing, Jeff? Six thirty minutes. Give us some notes. Skip. Time. Six thirty. Uh, you want to do six thirty? Okay. Six thirty and the fifth. Got it. When you get the agenda, you'll get it posted. Okay. So we need to uh, to review the meeting minutes of July tenth. Or whichever ones they are, we will have to redo those. And one of the meeting minutes of this meeting.
this meeting and if there are any other meetings out there that uh, I don't think so. Uh, Wendy. Yes. Minutes, Finance Committee minutes. Who's responsible for, or where do I'm, those go? Okay. I, got, I know. I'm trying to uh, suggest we, we um, have hired uh, a new assistant yep. head clerk, and I would like, uh, and I've talked to Barbara about this, mm -hmm. that one, once she, uh, she's going to start on the 30th of this month, um, once she gets the lay of the land, I'd like there for the purpose of, for the, for the happiness and ease of use by our volunteer boards that we have her be the one person and we internally figure out that right. it gets posted on the bulletin board and it gets put on the website. So you don't need to write four different people. Right. You'll email us a little yes. bit. Yes, and address. I'm pressing that issue with the clerk's office. Minutes. Because minutes is, um, it has to be filed with the town clerk. Yeah. That's the law. Yep. Okay. But agendas now, I'm, I'm sorry, I was Yeah, no, it's fine. I understood what you said okay. when you gave it. You probably won't yeah. see any capital budget requests for the 5th because we don't meet me until the 6th. Okay. As far as the capital improvement committee, we're not going to be able to speak to the so, six. Just so you know. Six, yeah. So, uh, don't have to speak of that either, right? Anybody remember what we held off on not doing at the senior center last year? I know they did that tile. Yes. In our current one, but we held off on some stuff because we were thinking all the church carpet, right around carpet in the <coughs> in the <coughs> eating <coughs> area, right? Yeah. And there was another thing that we held off on too. And I think you need to continue to in the kitchen, everything in that building. That's well, maybe I'm trying to remember. I think it was something. But if you're going to be there for another three years, four years, as long as it meets sanitary code. Well, I don't think it does. If it doesn't, I don't think the conclusion don't. on the carpet was it could be cleaned. Yeah. That's why we didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why CIPC right, didn't approve it. So I just it. want to check. So for, for, for another two or three years, could keep cleaning it. Could it? Yeah, possibly. Right. I don't know. I was wondering if the back else. pulls up the carpet and takes it away, and we'll keep cleaning it. We could we could arrange that. Um, I was just, was there any, it was something else though, right? Yeah, I don't remember what it was. I don't remember. Printer or some, I can't remember what it they, was. They did, they did replace the asbestos tiles. I don't know. But there was another, there was a third thing I don't remember. Well, the I refrigerator died and the whole idea was, uh, one thought was to get the fridge from the church, but I don't, it looks like they that fridge was not the, it was not the, it was, oh, not, the was not the refrigerator. No. They switched it then? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's good. Great. Do we own the church? No. 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 There was another legal thing. Still, sure. yeah, There's still the time. <laughs> huh? um, so who's so who's fall? It? It's still owned by the. So who's in charge of maintenance and uh, the church? The church. The church. Yeah. They call that the, the fraud fraud maintenance. Maintenance. They care a leak in the roof. If there's a leak in the roof, it's going to stay there. Just Wonder. a bucket. Wonder. Well, Where? somebody needs to get their right. butts together and get this transfer made. It's a the the lawyers. They have to go to uh, court. They have to yeah, probate. Have to go through probate. Well, either that or well, so, no. Right. No, no, this is just the. Yeah. One other question was uh, a fall town meeting that just, I know that we hadn't even really discussed having one yet, um, but we were talking about marijuana bylaws and tax that needs to get done we before. To, well, all no, that under the new law, we have to go to get town meeting. I, but we really need to make sure that we vote that local tax in before someone submits an application. And, and maybe a moratorium just to make sure we get all of our bylaws in order. I, uh, I know that we're, we're you looking, weren't in favor of that. I was I think, in favor of that because we have a district. We want them in town so that we can... But I just want to make sure that, that our bylaws are in order and everything is right. And, and make the... the Moratorium may not be needed as long as we just get our, and that's why if we had a, I didn't think we were going to have a fall town meeting, but that's one thing I wanted to bring up before the I, fall I, is almost gone. So I think I think that's a good point. So I just wanted to discuss I, I, get, the I, tax, get the tax voted yes, before it's too late before we get an application and, yeah. and money for the proceeding with the church a uh, church study or whatever. But that's again we don't own the building, so oh yeah. let's. Is there any reason that we can't do a feasibility study or, or have an architect look at it? Tell us what it is that needs to be done and well, what it's going to cost. That's my recommendation over and over again. And, and, and is there some reason that that can't happen? Well, we I mean, does it, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, if we're, since we're going to have the building, 
Right. Unless somebody thinks we're not going to have the building. And, we, and the town the voted, the that was town voted to take the building. Let's go to the planning board. Let's go to the planning board. What has? The town a building. study. Feasibility. Feasibility study. Why, why is that going to go to the planning board? And the bylaws. The bylaws say a feasibility yeah. study has to go through the planning yeah. board? Yeah. You mean and just I, to, and I to, believe to it also, ask for I believe it also has to go through capital planning. In the bylaws. What, what would the planning board do on the feasibilities? Uh, you know, uh, it may not be feasibility. So on the town building, they have to approve uh, alteration, alteration and renovations, and renovations on the planning building. board. Yeah. And CIPC, I believe. So the study is, is only a study. study. It's not so only study. All the study. Right. Yeah. It's information it's, that the study might probably go to the CIPC, right? Yeah. But not the for money. That's not the study. So just the thought was, you know, if we were going to have a town meeting for the marijuana thing, we would want to look at that church for funding. But I, well, we would. But if we don't have something that tells us what we need to do, that's the well, funding, no, that's the funding, the funding for, the for the study. We we, we can't do reserve fund for something like that because it's not unforeseen. We've all right. known about this for several years. There's money so that was put into stabilization. The, yes. No, there was there money was that was put into the. 25000 for maintenance. Good. Right. So we've got Use that. that. Yep. Got to look at that language. <coughs> because uh, it might receive... It doesn't change. make any sense to sit here and talk about what whether we're going to take the, whatever it is until we know what it is we need to do. Exactly. Well, I just want to make sure well, we we've had, had some money in Well, we've had engineers... I mean, we, there was a structure that we walk through. Oh, no. Yeah, we've walked we haven't through. Done anything. He's walked through. We've walked through. But it's just walk it's a walk in the park. And it's back it's to where we were, Bruce's. <laughs> we need to. We need to. Yeah. We need to make. They sure all recommend know. that the, the structural engineers um, basically said we will walk, walk through again. It's. He went all over and he said yeah. he doesn't see anything alarming, um, and he said we need to do a feasibility. And I said, well, I, I, I was thinking later that we needed structural analysis. No, we hire an architect, and they put the team together. You know the drill. So. So, do so do you think we have some funding somewhere other than having to go to town meeting for that? No. Well, we, we voted 25000 We, we just have to look at the wording yeah. to make sure that we can actually that. Use access that. Access it says maintenance. Access that, you know, that access would be a that for, the most, for the study. Okay. Perfect. You know, so. you, you, you Instead of finding reasons that we can't use it, let's see if we can find reasons that we, we can, can. That we can find the money to do the study. Right now. <coughs> no, no, we don't have to do it now. It's time to go home. You don't use CPA money? No, I have it. We don't want to use CPA money yet because we want to know what the scope of the project is and what we're going to do. If it makes, if we're going to invest in the building, we want to make it for at least a 30 or 40 year building. So it makes sense. for 230. Yeah, so it, it makes sense to. Um, you know, then we can use CPA money, but we need to know what we're doing first before we start using CPA money and get on the hook because we're not sure what we're doing yet. Uh, do we, anything else we need to discuss? Make we a motion we adjourn. To discuss adjournment. Second. Second. It's motion to adjourn. It's been seconded. Who made the motion? Jack. Yeah. And the other Bruce. Hi. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye.